What's up guys? We have, I think we're on week five of this new video series and I love it because I get to give you some tips, some tricks, uh, basically a little bit of insight into an eight to nine year trader, which I have to look up the first day I started trading, but it was a long time ago. So you learn a couple things or two, right? And the topic of this week is how much money do day traders make? And the first thing that you have to understand, and there's some serious variables within this topic. And again, as I say a lot of times, every but 99% of people on YouTube are gonna make bigger numbers look sexier. You go on Twitter and it's like the biggest PL is the best person, the coolest dude, the nicest guy. And oh my God, I trust him more because he makes a shit ton of money. Or even if he, do, he or she doesn't make a shit ton of money, they make 70,000 in a day and then they're down 50,000. They're up 200 and then they lose 300. Like a lot of people are attracted to the flashy big number of P&Ls. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of process in that. And that goes to my next thing. So before we get into how much do day traders make, the number one thing you got to stop doing is comparing yourself. Just because he or she is on their chapter 100 does not negate the fact that you're on chapter one or two or seven or 77, but you have to realize that just because say Alex Tamiz, for example, right? The biggest, like one of the head mentors at MIC, one of the creators, his biggest trade was on AMC, made $700,000 in a day, made 3 million plus in 2021. Just because Alex did that for himself doesn't mean you're on Alex's journey. And just because you read some random dude on Twitter has XYZ P&L for the year or for the day or for the week or for the month that you have to live up to those expectations, who said that? So the first thing you have to understand when encountering something in this industry is stop comparing yourself to people. Stop going on Twitter and thinking that you're less than or equal to or whatever. You're on your own journey. And number two, the only way to make any money in this industry, whether it's $100 a day, whether it's 100,000 a day, and yes, there are those are two very different traders and they're both quite common in this industry. Hedge funds, then you're just your normal retail trader. Everyone needs a process. And you're not going to make $100 a day without a process. So like, you know, once you figure out the roadmap to actually making money and and getting these certain identifiable factors in a linear process every single day, like I expect I show up to the market and I expect a paycheck because I do X, Y, and Z. And if it doesn't work out, I've got risk management, A, B, and C, whatever. I'm just giving you guys an example that one plus one in trading really does equal two when you have a process. When you don't have a process, one plus one equals seven minus five, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of crazy. Then you go from process into something called scaling up. And I'm not just talking about size. I'm talking about just growth in general as a trader and the evolution of a trader, which usually equates to, hey, I make more money because I got better at my process and now my profit, my process is allowing me more profits because I can scale up size a little bit, my confidence, maybe more trades, et cetera, et cetera. But the thing about it is, and it all comes down to this, is stress factor. It's called, a, you've heard of work-life balance. Alex is very, and I use Alex for an example because he's one of the most extreme examples of potential results from the market. The kid, the kid's an outlier, right? Like he crushes it and he's the main teacher at MIC, right? And if Alex is able to make $3 million in a calendar year, which he did in 2021, um, there might be a lot more stress associated with that than the guy who only wants to make $50 to 200 a day and supplement his income while he works his dream job nine to five. I don't know. Like you have to figure out what works for you. But again, when you don't compare, you can flush this out of, Hey, what do I want? What would change my life if I make a day? Two to $300 is actually quite easy when you figure out a process. And I would go as far as to say, not so much easy, but so simple if you have a process. Because nothing is technically easy in this industry, but a lot of it is simplicity. And again, it's like when you have a process, it's like one plus one equals two. Don't try to wing it all and do all this crazy stuff. When you don't have a process, then nothing's going to make sense to you, let alone making $200 a day or $70,000 a day. Big hedge, funds big hedge fund traders go through a ton of stress at times. Now, everybody's different. You grew up with parents that were scared of money. You grew up with parents that were not scared of money. You think big, he thinks small, she thinks big. Um, he doesn't think at all, whatever it is. 
is we all have these different upbringings that are going to give you a certain level of confidence based on how much money you can earn or what you're willing to lose, right? So again, it's very specific to each trader. And the thing about trading is you're going to find that as you go along. Do you want to be the trader that pushes serious, even if you have a really good process, do you want to be the trader that pushes some serious size and has the potential to make $3,000 a day, $7,000 a day, maybe 5 million a year. There's traders like that all over and specifically in the big money hedge funds. Or do you wanna be the guy that has, again, it's stress factor, very low stress. You make your $500 a day, you make your 1200, extremely low stress, you can just keep doing it, doing it, doing it, and you live a pretty good life. So I think there's a certain gratitude factor that people need to have. And just to give you guys an example of the best trader that I know, Alex Tamiz, and don't think that you need like $4 million accounts to make $4 million. Alex trades with an account of $35,000 every single month. It's almost like his small account challenge, but like a legit one, not just for marketing purposes. So when Alex gets that account up to $50,000, what he does is he wires out. When he gets there again, he wires out again and so on and so forth. And he generates... I mean, last year he did over $3 million after fees and commissions and everything. So if he spent $400,000 in fees, which there are fees with, you know, hard to borrow shorting and anything, you know, with DMA brokers, which, you know, you got to pay to play in this industry, he's looking at 3.5 mil. You know, obviously that doesn't equate for taxes. You can do that later. But the point is, if you can make that with a 35K account and wire out and do it again and do it again, and that's part of process on the money side... That's pretty cool. So you guys have to figure out this language that works for you. And it's not so linear that everybody makes the same amount of money. And if you don't make that amount of money, you're a loser. It's not like that. You have to find your identity in the markets. So if you guys like any of the topics I talked about today, I love this stuff. I can rant all day. Text my line at 213-458-5997. And we can talk about this further and get you associated and familiarized with all of this lingo and how to actually go about being a trader. And also, if you do want to see a um, webinar by Alex Demez, who I mentioned, and a lot of these results he's going to show you of how and why he did it, check out the free webinar at myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. See you guys.